Quiet neighborhood in shock tonight as one of their neighbors sits in jail facing a murder charge. 27 year old Joe Arthur Turner is in Clay County in the jail there facing burglary, murder and sexual battery charges. Police believe Turner killed 26 year old Jordan Cooper. You may remember Cooper went missing back in November. Authorities found her body inside her own attic concealed. DNA results from a sexual assault kit and band aid recovered in that attic matched Joe Turner's. Tonight, Nick Perot joins us live from Keystone Heights. And Nick, what are neighbors saying this evening? Well, for those that live in this neighborhood, they say the arrest of Joe Turner can be summed up with two words, disbelief and shock. It's hard for me to believe that Joe would do that. Diane Grill Curtis lives across the street from Joe Turner's parents' house where the 27-year-old was staying and staying quiet at that. He'd be walking home. He just looked like a, you know, a sad soul, you know, and I'd pick him up and give him a ride home. He was very shy. He put his head down a lot, and I'd say, you're so good looking. You could get a really pretty girlfriend. Why don't you go get a girlfriend? You know, and, oh, and he's, you know, kind of hemming and hawing, didn't know what, really what to say. Curtis and other neighbors agree. Turner was rarely seen. Curtis says he did have his compassionate moments. He came over here and raked my yard. He cut my grass. He, he buried my, my pit bull that I had to put down, he dug the hole, and he put her in the hole real gentle, and he kind of got a tear in his eye. He didn't even know Lucy. Turner even helped cut down trees and do yard work with another neighbor in his own neighborhood. Certainly hard to think that police believe that same man stole construction equipment and drills from one of his own neighbor's homes with the intention of pawning it off and killing 26-year-old Jordan Cooper, hiding her body in the attic. Would shock even begin to describe it? Oh yeah, definitely. He was very empathetic and he, I just don't. It makes me real sad. And back out here live, Clay County Sheriff's Office do believe that Turner is the only person connected to this murder, but they say the investigation is ongoing, so keep it right here for the very latest. Reporting live tonight in Keystone Heights, Nick Perot, First Coast News, on your side.